here with Clifford Ray, the Union South Carolina native, getting inducted into the state's Hall of Fame. Clifford, what is this like to uh, be back? You're already sharing some stories with uh, some of the fellas and, and just reliving your glory days here. Well, I can't say I've gotten a chance to relive any glory days with anybody because I just left uh, Union, South Carolina, where I spoke to over 2,000 kids for four days and also help uh, give out books on my uh, new uh, children's book. So I did middle school and, and uh, elementary schools uh, uh, in Union, South Carolina. And uh, I went to Sims High, so I'm mostly interacted with the people of Union, South Carolina. Now I'm going to be able to react, interact with some of them tomorrow and okay. today. Okay, so you're helping the next generation hopefully live their glory days in the future. Yeah. What, do you, what do you think is the message that you're trying to teach with the book and with helping the kids of Union? Just getting people to understand it's not how you start the journey, it's how you finish the journey. So I was trying to get them to understand about don't let anyone tell you that your dreams are not important because they are. If you have dreams and you continue to dream and work at those things, you will accomplish them because I'm living proof. Yeah, you definitely finished the journey with the Golden State Warriors winning the NBA title in 1975, then as an assistant coach with the Celtics winning another title in uh, 08. What is the most important thing for these kids to take away in order to finish that journey successfully, do you think? Well, I think the one thing you have to do is to learn how to work with other people and also be able to take constructive criticism, to not think that every time someone comes at you about something, that they don't like you or you take it personal. So you have to have, be able to brush your ego out. My dad used to always do this. He would say, he said, get that chip off your shoulder. You know, and so I think that that's the key thing. And I, the, one of the things that I did with the kids in Union was that I, I said, what grade, are, what, what grade am I talking to now? And if it was the fourth grade or if it was the third or the a fifth or sixth or whatever, I said, okay, do you realize that as a group in this school and in this county, you represent the fourth graders? So you don't want to do anything that will put tarnish on those fourth grade. So that's the first thing you have to learn is to work well with others and also to respect your teachers. So that's my message. That's always been my message to young people. And I don't just do this for young people. I do a lot of, a big body of my work has been done with uh, the NBA young bigs around this league. And I've had a bunch of them. Yeah, and then your Celtics are going after, you know, trying to go after another championship here. So speaking of that responsibility, give the responsibility to the kids. They're upholding, you know, the uh, legacy of the fourth graders in Union. Now you're going to be upholding the legacy of an inductee into yeah. the South Carolina Athletics Hall of Fame. When you think about that responsibility and that honor, how does that make you feel? Well, it makes you feel great, but it also makes you feel like that you did not let the people down that were, have, have, that have been supported of you throughout your your journey uh, guys like Willie Jeffries guys like John Harold Bates uh, great player uh, uh, coaches also players you know that that really open the avenues of coaching uh, coach Jeffries you can't say enough about him and both of those guys I'm related to they were the reason that I even got into sports they was the reason that because I was on the band I was the drum major for, for, for the high school Sims high school band so I was able to get pushed toward other avenues and that's what I was saying about try if someone asks you to do something as a young person you don't know whether you're gonna be any good at it unless you work at it and then try it we got to try it first yeah that's a great point. Well, thank you for spending time with us and giving back to the people of South Carolina still. Yeah, I will always uh, cherish uh, what happened to me uh, because it 
wouldn't have never happened if I wouldn't have been in South Carolina. It gave me the foundation and the, and the wherewithal to be able to, and the work ethic. That was number one, because when we were growing up, everybody had to work together. A fam my dad would always say, a family that works together stays together. So all that hard work from my mother and my father, all the teachers that I had, uh, going from the first grade to the to the twelfth grade, and when I started out, I started out in a in a two room house. And there was two teachers, and there was ten kids on one side and ten on the other. And we didn't have a playground. We played on a big tree that grew into the window. Wow. <laughs> So from all the way from that to this, <laughs> all right, Clifford, thanks so much for the time. You're welcome. For Fox Carolina Sports in Columbia, I'm Carmine Jemay. Thank you.